Well, hello. It has been a while, hasn't it? If you're just now joining me, I'm Alicia with Caesar Soap Company. And on today's video, I just wanted to pop in and say, yes, I'm alive. I haven't been active since about December 20th. So if you follow me, you know I've been on vacation. Um, I went to Maryland with my husband to see his family and we went down to DC. I had a beautiful time. It was my first time seeing the White House outside of like a television screen. We got to see all the trees. Each state in Providence had a tree. It was very beautiful and you know it was the first time I really got to hang out with his side of the family and it was amazing. I got really sick December 31st. So December 31st, uh, I was fine first thing when I woke up and then it, it hit me like a train. And on January 3rd, I was diagnosed positive with COVID-19. I wish I was one of those people that were asymptomatic. I was not. I was down. I was miserable. If I could describe it, it was, you know, I had like upper respiratory infection, flu symptoms, um, I've never, when I've had the flu, sweat. Like I was sweating and then I would get extremely cold. So I would go and take like an extremely hot shower and then go out to like 30 degree weather and be okay. On and off, I had a fever. I had a double ear infection and they ended up giving me antibiotics for that. And it, it's something that I never want to endure again. I was sick from the 31st till the 16th of January. I was very limited on what I could do. I could not do anything with my soap business. I couldn't touch my computer. I couldn't touch my products, labels. I just didn't want to contaminate anything. So I stayed away from anything business. So that's what I've been doing. And if you're wondering what I'm drinking, cause I'm sure you can see stuff floating around. I am drinking spice roasted dandelion root and I cut up some ginger. Tea has been my thing. I am all about the tea. I had a lot of time on my hands. I wanna incorporate tea into my soap and bath bomb business. I never gave you guys the reason why I started making my own products at home. It's cleared up pretty good. Um, these are the before and after pictures. So before I started using my product, I would have flare-ups like crazy from my elbows, um, from my chest all the way up to my eyelids. It was bad. Quite embarrassing too. I've unfortunately dealt with it for years. Super embarrassing. I've called out of school when I was younger. I've called out of work as an adult. It is very painful, irritating, and yeah. Even under my armpits, I had it pretty bad. And it'll start off red and then it turns dark and it actually scars my skin. Now, there's no cure for psoriasis. I was looking for a cure because, you know, doctors, they can give you like a steroid cream. Sometimes that doesn't even work. So it led me to the vegan community. I was changing the way I ate, the chemicals that I used. So long story short, um, there was a post with Mrs. Soap and Clay. She would share recipes and, you know, tell you like how to make soap, what ingredients to use. So I started off with that. And before I knew it, my skin was clearing up. Family and friends were like, hey, you know, you should sell this stuff and here I am today. Now I didn't start off like most soapers. So I actually launched a corporation. I wanted to use my corporation as the manufacturer and then sell my items under a DBA name, Seastar Soap Company. And then I got like my tax ID number, I locked down a name. I locked down all my social media sites. I got a domain website and all of this before I started making any products. So I had zero items on hand. I first launched in March 2021 and completely sold out. I definitely used social media, but only because I had influencers and I didn't have that many products on hand. The second time I launched was July 2021 
and again, sold out. I was like, you know what? I can't be sold out before the holidays. I really have to amp up what I'm making. So I have these custom loaf molds that give me 23 bars and I started making six loaves of soap a day and I still couldn't keep my store in stock. So for Christmas, the third launch happened. I tried to launch an Etsy account and total fail because I, I just completely sold out on my regular website. Now, some of you are like, that's, that's not a bad thing to happen, but I do not wanna keep being sold out to my regulars. I was like, 2022, I'm gonna kick it off. I have my business plan laid out and then I got hit with COVID and it was a wrap. Like it didn't happen. I didn't go to school for an, uh, an MBA. I am self-taught. I definitely read up on my stuff. Soap Guild definitely helped me, you know, letting me know what kind of insurance to carry, with what products I'm gonna sell. And I, I'm starting to notice a lot of people in this type of industry, we are self-taught. And just go for it, just go out there, you know. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I, I hate social media. My daughter calls me a boomer and I'm okay with that, but I have to learn to get with the times and get up with it. And yes, if you didn't know, I have a daughter. She is 13 and this is lovely Miss Ava. You guys already met my dog Oso in my day of the life vlog. I'm just hoping I can get it together. There's a lot of products I wanna put out. So I have Pinterest and I started doing Pinterest boards, kind of like a vision board to me. I don't leave links to anything. I just post, you know, what inspires me. I recently just made a marble soap. And let me tell y'all, I will be posting a video for it, but it was just the hardest thing. I envisioned something. There are not too many marble soap videos and everybody has their own technique. I wanted to get like a metallic type feel to it. Each one came out so differently. I'm getting into the essential oils and things that are very herbal. So I've been focusing a lot on avocado oil. I love avocado, hands down. I use it in my hair, I eat it, and it is great for my skin. So I infused my avocado oil with herbs because I wanted to do like a tea type thing and I don't want to use tea bags and I did it using the alcohol method. And I will have new packaging. So I got these to do my bath bomb gift sets. And these are so cute. They're a pain to put together. I also launched a Patreon page and I do lives on there. So if you're interested, head to my Patreon page and subscribe. I give out full recipes on everything I'm doing, share bonus videos, the content that I don't share on YouTube. I didn't want this video to be a long video. I just wanted to do like a little hello introduction video for the new year. I hope everybody is well. I hope your business is thriving. You guys are full of ideas. I love hearing from you guys. So if you wanna reach out, you have a question, definitely comment, ask me. I will get back to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.